Today, we're going to be looking at one military camp on the Steam Deck. Now, thank you for the desk for giving me the uh, key. Right, so on the Steam Deck itself, if you're playing actually on the handheld, it runs pretty fine. I installed it, no problem. Actually, at 800p, you use 7, 7 watts, 30 FPS you get, and you get around 3 to 4 hours play. I was trying it last night. Now, trying to connect it to a monitor has been a bit of a hassle, though. Now, so for you guys, I tried to turn up the resolution a little bit to uh, 1080p. So let's do that. We exit out. And unfortunately, it doesn't quite work properly. I don't really understand what's happening here. As you can see, that you get a border on the left and the right side, so it looks to be the same aspect ratio as the main screen on the deck, but the screen on the deck is switched off right now. Now I've tried this um, on desktop mode and on, on the game mode on the Steam Deck, and you get exactly the same happening at 1080p. The desktop mode auto actually goes to 1080p. Now I did think maybe this is a problem with my capture card, so I, well, my setup is I the Steam the Steam Deck's connected to a hub. HDMI cable is then connected to a capture card, which then you'll see in the picture. So I disconnect the HDMI cable and put it into the into a monitor just to double check, and um, unfortunately, it still did it. So just to triple check, this is a, this is not something wrong. I got another cable, a USB-C cable, and plugged it directly into the monitor because the monitor can also have a USB-C connection, and it still does it. So unfortunately, um, you can only use it at what looks to be native resolution. I'm not sure. I'm assuming that is just 800p. It's just it's output in there. Because the only one which you can actually get it to work on, if you put it back to default, and it will actually then work in full screen. As I say, I've actually tried this. So I spent I spent an hour trying to get this to work properly. I'd prefer to give you a better resolution, really. But as you can see, it does actually work. Now this is FSR actually just up in the picture a bit. So um, what settings I've got at the moment is yeah FSR set to three. Um, at the moment we've got eight watts, and uh, I've had a quick play, and it doesn't and it seems fine. Thirty FPS limit. I decided to do uh, some testing, so I installed the game on uh, Fedora. This is Fedora with a Cinnamon desktop. So we loaded into the game on uh, on Linux, and as you can see, it's loaded in fine. Uh, we check the settings, and what we see is a lot more settings than we do actually on the Steam Deck. So if we go from the top, First thing we see is the language and all that sort of stuff. I think it's that there in the Steam Deck version. But then we see the graphic settings, including a resolution setting. Now this is actually 1080p, but uh, it's actually scaled. I've scaled up to something like 20%, which is why the uh, resolution is odd here. But it is 1080p, and you can change it. Now I suspect on the Steam Deck version, they've preset something, which is why you can't change it. Um, you also get uh, some volume. I think that's actually the volume controls mostly are on there, but not all. The movement, the controls and the keyboard controls have been removed. So on the Steam Deck, you have to use a joypad. You cannot use um, a keyboard and mouse. I've tried. But on a laptop or on the desktop, you only have the, uh, the, mouse, and the mouse and keyboard, but you can't use a, a joypad. I personally think you should be able to use both on all. So you select what you want to use and then you can use it. I think they're limiting themselves by doing this. But what they're doing is treating the Steam Deck as a console. And so like with most consoles, the, the options are very limited. I suppose not to overwhelm new players and things. That that's what they're doing with the Steam Deck. But I think this is wrong because a lot of people use the Steam Deck as their main PC and will run things on the desktop mode. And so you will have, or well, they will have an external monitor plugged in, they will have a keyboard and mouse and use it as their uh, main PC. Now, well, it's still, it's better to run a game in game mode because um, you get better performance. You don't, the, 
the Steam Deck doesn't run at full speed in desktop mode. Um, you still can run games, and this game does run in desktop mode absolutely fine. So, yes, I I personally would change this. So very quickly, if we actually go to the forums, you can see I've actually yeah, brought this up with them, and they have actually responded. This would play on a lot of other devices as well as the Steam Deck, because there's more handheld devices come out there. They're more expensive as well, but they're Windows. Now, I suspect that they will only have the mouse and keyboard option. So what they're doing is limiting them, really are limiting themselves here because there's many other devices. And also, let's say on a, a normal PC, you've only got mouse and keyboard. Maybe you want to use uh, this Steam Link to actually connect it to a TV and go and play on the sofa. At the moment, you can't really do that. But uh, if they gave the actual joypad control to the main main PC game, the main you know, on any version of the game, then you would be able to. So again, they're limiting themselves. I do urge them to actually change that. So let's start a new game. Now at the moment we can't we haven't got sandbox, but looking at their um, their text, it does look like the sandbox is coming sometime in April. So at the moment we've just got campaign. So B W. We're gonna have to call us two because I've got another save going. So if I press there, that works. Yep. Now the game does a full controller support. And actually, it works really well. But the only the only in-game issue I've seen so far is on the deck with the screen. Some of the text is a bit small. So this is a story. This is the bad guy. He's taken everywhere, all these regions, and there's only one left. And that's where we are. So let's get past that, shall we? So I think this is supposedly us getting off, I think. Hey! Right, yeah. Well, I'll just quickly go through this. Yep. Hope you're ready to work. I'm Sergeant Blasey Blah. Uh, huh. Now we can press B and just get rid of it, so we'll do that. And then he goes, oh, look, look at him, it's a disaster, this place. Nothing works, nothing's repaired, so that's what we have to do right at the beginning. So, um, yeah, we're going to we'll play it, but then we'll... Okay, so using the right stick, you can move around like this, up and down like this. Left stick is uh, actually there. You get more precise movements also using the D-pad, but that's, um, I think, in build mode, you see that. The, you can go in and out. If you get, go over something and go in, you actually go out. Now, see it's actually the uh, arrows there, because it, want it wants us to actually look at that. Now, if you're in and you click the, uh, it's the A button, is it? Down the bottom, it doesn't do anything. But if you go out a bit and click on it, then you can. So let's get rid of him. So what it actually wants us to do is build something. Now, the top left button we press, press the D-pad up, let go, and then we get to the menu. We use the D-pad to then to move down there. And at the moment, we can't actually move. Oh, that's the only place we can press it. So we press the A button, and guess what? There we go. He's happy. Yes, he is. Yeah. Right, so it wants us to go here next. But if I hadn't actually stopped the uh, dialogue there, it actually would have told us. Click on it again. This is the missile. Ah, oh, I never forget the taste. Back in the day, blah, blah, blah. So, let's use the old missile. Well, to do that, we should connect it to the rest of the camp, build a road. Now, that's pretty simple. Again, you press the, the button above the trigger on the left. And the uh, D-pad up. Goes to that menu. Look, if I press right, it all goes moves. Then we let go. Uh, while pressing up would be good. Then we get the menu. Then it tells us to press the X button. And then we can build a road. So it wants us to build it from there. You have to hold the button down, the A button down. And there we go, it's done it. Aha, uh -huh, he says. Yeah, good. Yeah. 
Now I have to connect it to the power grid. Ooh. So we're going to do that. So once again, we go into the build menu. And we're going to build one of these. So we have to connect that. Press it on there. And then we've just got to put it near somewhere. Um, so you can see it's an area in effect by that yellow thing there. Now we can't go any further with just one, so it has to be there. Uh, I'm wondering whether I want to ah, just put it there. We'll put another one later if we need it. Well done! Well done, yes. Now we have to hire a cook. Some buildings like a mess hall, blah blah blah, workers sleep in the barracks, but the cook wants to sleep in his own little house. Luckily, I have a proud private house for the cook first, blah 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 blah, blah. put some adverts, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, yeah, okay. So now we've got to hire someone. Hey! Alright, get off of that. Click on him. Yeah, stop moving. Click on you. So he wants us to go, these are different things you can hire them for. So there's a private, and that's maintenance. He's going to be a cook, so we've been told that. We've got medic, defense, and a researcher. So we want to press on him. Then we have to move it down. See, so I think that's a nighttime schedule, but we we're, that's for later. Then we go higher. He goes, woohoo. Woo there you go, and he's now a cook. Yep. Right. So it wants us to go to build again. So what's it want to build? Oh yes, the warehouse. Maintenance building. Now, we can now turn that round. These are the buttons above the trigger at the back. We can turn it. So it obviously wants to connect to there. I put it here last time and I think that's absolutely fine when I was in my playthrough last night. Now it's going to say we need to build a house. Now originally I built it right next to here. So I thought get him in and out. But then I've noticed there's actually a, a noise problem. People don't like noisy houses. Does it actually say anywhere? See, when you're building it, it doesn't actually mention this. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to build it here. here. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know. But then I'm going to press the X button, you see, game. There we go. It's connected. I'll make a little road along here with houses. So now it wants us to connect on there. And we've got to choose a... It's going to be him, isn't it? Yes. So we have to hire him. Right, so we don't know if there we want to remove maintenance and we want to hire. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> there you go. So he's now been assigned to. Yo! Yeah, it's, only to, it's not us who's tend that. Look at him. Yeah, he's very happy with himself. He shouted at somebody. Come on, this is good hands. Now we're missing supplies. So we've got to build a warehouse. Hey! Ooh, yes. Right, so this is going to be a later mission, I think. We're not quite there yet. This is the country map. As you can see, the dragon, the, the bad guy in red, has uh, taken... Maybe the bad guy is actually the good guy, and we're the bad guys. Hmm. Depends perspective, I suppose. Uh, to bring your map, either press the country icon at the bottom left of the screen, or zoom in and out. That's the way I'm doing it. Okay, off we go. Right. So we need warehouses. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Right. So where am I going to put the warehouse? Why am I putting it there? No particular reason apart from my can, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> Now, why 
is that actually? No person are working in the building at the moment. Make sure that you set. Yeah. So anyway, what does he want us to do now? He wants us to go down there. Now, what did I just do wrong? Well, it's stuck on Tetri. Oh, I get it. It wants us to get someone for the warehouse. Silly me. Right, well, we're going to do that then. I think it does. Oh, we've got to buy some food. There you go. Got some food now. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically it's saying that th things run out. Hmm. Now does it want? Oh, right. It wants the... Uh, fuel warehouse. Do I want to put it there? We could put warehouses next to each other. Alright, so I've got to buy some fuel, have I? Saving. Honestly, the controls are pretty easy to use. It's only some of those little... Where it says hire and other maintenance work, or those sort of little texts, things like that. Um, so if we, actually, what was the other thing I was doing? That was it. If you press the... Uh, is that the X button on the left? Yes, it is the X button, isn't it? I'm using a different controller for this, for this video. So if I... I look at the top there, where it says X. That gets rid of that. So what about if I press Y? Ah, so it just moves over and tells you the different things. Now, I don't know what they actually they mean yet. I do know that the A button gets you out of it. Right, so anyway, we've got to... Uh, what have we got to do? We've got to press the that and there, and we've got to go to... Mess Hall. Why do we have to go to the Mess Hall? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, no we don't. We have to go to her. So, she is going to be... Really? You want her for maintenance, do you? Okie dokie. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, supplies and a place to eat and sleep. Now it's time to get to work. Let's start with some training buildings. Our troops have to get through some training somehow. Blah 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 blah. Right, and then we're going to go to build. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah. So intelligence training. Oh, that's a bit problem. I have no intelligence. We'll put it along there. Strength training. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. And I see some new faces there. It seems my advertising campaign was effective after all. Let's go get a closer look. Okie dokie. Make sure you check everybody's skills and traits. They're the wrong skills or traits. They won't be effective on missions. And that's something we can't afford. Let's start off with that one there. Which one? Right. 
What do you want me to look at? Oh. <laughs> you not really letting me do this, are you? Right, so we've got to look at both of them. So I'm going to click on that, which is to choose one. Now, some of this text is what I'm saying on the main screen. If you're just playing on the deck itself, it's a bit small. So it wants us to recruit him. Higher, yeah. Hey, get to work. And then we got to look at her. She wants to be a recruit as well. Hey. Huh? Hey. What are you doing? That's not the specialization I asked you. For. So she wants to go intelligence. All right, so we'll, we'll put set her into intelligence then. Fine, okay. Hey. Happy now? You can chase this over any time. It doesn't really matter. This is why she's still not happy. I clicked on that. Are you not allowing me to actually do this? You. Why aren't you allowing me to do this? Right, so private. So intelligence is up. I click on there. Yeah. Hey. Once you successfully commit a mission, you can hire whoever you want. Right, are you not gonna allow me to actually hire her then? Am I gonna say that's no, you're not gonna allow me to hire her. Fine, okay. How exactly are you doing that? Yes, sir. So it wants. Oh, it... Okay. All right. Okay. You have to go into ah! this. You've done everything right. The training's going smooth, and I think you're ready to bring them into more recruits. A few artillery and comms operators. All right. Can I? Can I go now? Accuracy, intelligence. So t intelligence is quite good. Woo. Well, now it's allowed me. Okay. Right. So, so this is the people we've hired so far. And again, this text is quite small on when you look in the screen on the scene up itself. Okay, what about you? You're sitting down. Good cook. Experience as a cook. What about you? Oh, no, it's just you. I can, we could do you as a second cook. I'm not allowed to, am I? You're not going to allow me to do that, are you? He's addicted to puzzles. I want, I'd have him as a cook. Look, good cook. Night time, yeah. All right. It's almost night time. Hmm. 
Time mm. flies when you're busy. Your people, blah, 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 it's just a work. Oh, our camp has to provide for services, blah, blah, blah. Now, I've just done that. Is it going to be... Uh... <laughs> I've just done a schedule. It's night time. All right, whatever. Hey. Am I going to have to... <laughs> I am. I shouldn't have hired him. <laughs> I got three cooks yes, now. Sir. Where are you? Hmm. Yes, sir. Now we are meant to uh, set a goal. Hmm. Uh. Ah. Yo. Ouch. 40, 40. What is her stats, though? Yep. Good job, our camera's over the kitchen. That's good. That's good. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Oh, what do you want me to build now? Entertainment building. Oh, great. Okay. Um... Am I supposed to put that? I don't want to block that area up though, because I want the road guy out there. I think. But do we need people for this? All right. Um, it's not going to tell me anymore, is it? Strength. Defense medic. Beefy improves faster. Bring find so faster. So you're gonna have to be strength trainer then. Yeah. What about you? Sprinter. Use those buildings. Do we need you yet? Where's our money? Money's at the top. So we can see the actual amount of stuff we've got. 165, 200. That one's going down a bit. So you don't seem to have need to anyone working here. Oh, alright. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. So this text where it says artillery specialist required, that is very, very small. See where stats are. It says re required stats something forty. Whoa. Ah, for, so if we bring that up, and then we set a goal, we can see where they are now. So Shell's got bigger whatever that is. Intelligence. So you can force a maintenance. She... Mm. Oh, we can mm. fire her as well. 
Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Experience as researcher increases. Ah. Now we can only have seven people in that bed in that bed there. Oh, maybe I should have gone for that one. Security officer. Okay. I We can't have everybody. Um, no. It's only beds to actually free in this. Ah, right. We've got three out, of, three out of seven. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I love to see the camp in full swing. Yeah, okay. The hard training, the sun in your face, the sobs uh, of the troops begging for mercy. It uh, reminds me of the good old days. It's time to take what our training one step further. The rookies are ready for their specializations. Mm. <laughs> they go from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How exciting. I know if you've noticed, each soldier info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows you what side of skills they are. When uh, one of the soldiers meets the requirements, they will let you uh, know they're ready for specialization. However, I recommend that you check how how our cabinets are progressing each time from time to time. Yep, uh, uh, we are a comms operator. We can't promote one before building a comms. Oh, right, okay. Right, so we need, um, yeah. Right. There. So, if I was to bring that down here. Yeah, no. I just want to waste the space, really. Alright, and if I was there. Soldiers assigned. We've got assigned a specialist in there. Good cook. Defense knowledge. Two of them got defense knowledge. We've got three cooks. Uh, private, yeah. This activity will not improve specialization and performance. Yes, sir. Right. Sure thing. How about that then? So if we press just right now, we can actually go up to the top right and actually bring up some information how to do something. So, specialise the soldier into comms or operator class. And it will tell us, hopefully, how to do that. Well, I said that one's got to be, and then to specialize. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh. Ah. Okay, so also we refer our first specialist. Good, good, good. Uh. Yes, sir. So this one's not happy. Mm -hmm. She got sixty-four mm. of that. Mm. 
So she's not happy because she could become a spec. Copy that, boss. Hmm. Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh. Right, so we need uh, artillery now. Yes, sir. We got sixty four something. Uh, oh. huh. Yes, sir. Uh, no, 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 no. Go that one. Go to um, intelligence. Okay. Now, could we change what she is? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Hmm. No, basically. Uh. So we've got a specialized two in artillery. How many have we got? We got. Th we really need some more people here then. Okay. Oh, so we're free. Which ones are two? Strength, speed, intelligence, accuracy. Maybe accuracy would do it. Woo! Yes, sir. Um. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Okay. Where are you? Slow recovery because of injury. Um. Where are you? Always offer a good challenge, matters don't just seem what's her stats? I don't understand where the stat bits are. It's only the speed at strength at intelligence, isn't it? Oh I see, you just press the R1 and R2. Maybe? <laughs> yes, sir! How do you not look at all of them at the same time? Only things can be monitored at the same time. Right, mm. okay. Mm. How do I get off this then? Yes, sir. Oh, I see. You just go, you press mm. the D pad to go across, mm. you can watch them. Mm. You're not doing that well, are you? Yes, sir. Ouch! Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, do I fire her? What are you doing? Yes, sir. Have you got enough intelligence yet? So you want I think that's what he wants to do. Roger that. Mm 
Hmm. Besides two privates and artillery. Down there, set goal. Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Um, choosing to. Yes, sir. Jordan, Jordan. Hmm. Hmm. She's a researcher, so I can't do much with her. Just a research. Yes, sir. Set goal. Mm. Copy that, <laughs> boss. So he hasn't got it yet. Oh. Ah, so that will ho hopefully help him get that, though. Yes, sir. Have I set your goal yet? Hmm. <laughs> Soldier detail, yeah, right. There's 65 of the uh, the muscles there. Assign them to their barracks. Yes, I don't think, sir. Don't think you do. Or maybe you do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't assign him. You have to leave. Where are you? Yes, sir. To your researcher, so do I have to give you a house? I can just put you in the barracks. Sincerely, dumb boss. Yes, sir.
Train and go yes, not sir. set. Okay. Oh, it done, boss. Uh, I need artillery, it, just, it said, didn't it? <laughs> ah, right, so if you press left, you should get this one. Oh, this is the candidates. Okay, all right. Yes, sir. Right, you're ready to specialize now. You said you're ready to specialize. Why can't I specialize you then? Huh? You have to build artillery specialist first. All right. Yeah, yeah, get off that, then. Get off that. Which one's the artillery, then? Accuracy. Comms. I have a feeling we don't have that one yet. Oh, we've got a premier house there. Oh no, we got it. We do have it. I'm assuming we haven't actually already got yeah. this. I don't think we do. <sighs> yes, sir. You want to go to bed or something? Yes, sir. We still have lots of stuff left, so... Yes, sir. Right, let's uh, do that. Let's say with... Yeah, see, none of them actually... Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we, we can specialise you now, can't we? Yes, sir. There you go. I did something. So we've got to get another artillery specialist. Cook, maintenance, maintenance, comms, comms, cook, artillery, research, defence, private. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go, got that one. Yep. Oh, we did a first mission. Right, wait a sec, I see you haven't built a helicopter yet. A uh, heliport yet. Uh, we can't send our people on front without means of transport. Let's fix that. Uh, heliports are essential buildings for us. Uh, they send our hey. and missions, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, okay. Think where are you going to put... You just say think where you're going to put it. 
Ooh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, that's the fuel. Alright. So we want to keep it away from everything else, do we? If I want. You're gonna need electricity, right? Yeah. Um Yeah, what well, is that the pylon? Check the map to see where we need where we needed. It's gonna be that one, isn't it? We knew it was gonna be that one. So there's your need of help and Rocky Appendix. You set the mission on the map, you'll see what mission? Information on the requirements, troops we can send, and the reason for the mission. Mm. Let's see. <sighs> Seems citizens of Rocky Appendix are desperate. Dragon has banned garbage in their dirt. Oh, cabbage. <laughs> cabbage is a national delicacy. Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup, cabbage pie. Ah, oh, classics. It's what? Cirque Raw? Whatever that is. They've even banned Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love Brussels sprouts. No one likes Brussels sprouts. Bit of oil, bit of butter. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, uh, fry them, obviously. Boil them, then fry them. Uh, you know, the ones uh, people like to sauté in butter. So delicious. Oh, God. Hey, God, it's just so heartless and cruel. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I haven't gone this far yet. I'm wondering why I'm actually meant to really do it. Oh, it did actually tell me. It did, didn't it? <laughs> I'm actually past that one. Something about comms. All right. Wait, you're I'm higher. Uh, Copy that, boss. All right. So I don't think we actually see what happens. It either works or it doesn't. No, you can't go in, unfortunately. We just have to wait and actually uh, see what happens. It, I think it tells us at the end. Basically, but they either come back or they don't. Oh, can we actually... I haven't tried the second menu on the right, so... I don't know. What's that one? That one? Oh, this is the tree! Okay, we can open up other things in it. Ah. You don't have enough resources. That's good. It's a 100. Train facility for our explosives. Right, so... Yeah, we'd have to soften the, the green ones are the ones we can actually afford. It's not much, actually, is it? I think we might get money or something for the missions. Who are you? What are you doing? Yes, sir. Oh, so we can do level two now. But he hasn't got any of the things yet. All right. <laughs> 
Uh, if you see, it says officer. We've just deployed to Rocky, and uh, we close the ministry, but they're f uh, they are few in number. The cowards are retreating. If we can afford another barracks, can we get? Do we tell them to no? We don't want them. Oh, we can reject them, and that opens up the space for someone else to come in. So night owl means he would be okay doing something at night. Um, Intelligence is good. Accuracy is, well, speed's not bad. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Brainiac. Intelligence improves fast. Uh, stamina decreases 10% slower than the de during the day. Mm. We'll keep her now. We reached the town square. Dragon soldiers were trying to light a garbage. <laughs> I wouldn't say garbage because it's American garbage, isn't it? Cabbage fire. We proceeded to take them into uh, custody. <laughs> well, so far, it looks to be going well, our first mission. I suppose the first one would, though, wouldn't it? I think but for the Steam Deck, this is quite a, not a bad game, actually, for the Steam Deck, because you can actually run it at, what, 7 watts. If you're willing to go down to 20 FPS, you can run it at 6 watts. Hey! Great victory, squad! Go take some rest and get ready for the next mission! So we've got that spot now. There you go, I thought we would. Hooray, you saved us, villager. Oh man. It's going to be called Dragon. Had us some bread and water. He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crop. A lot of good cabbage died that on that horrible summer evening. Yeah. Yes, I propose that we erect a statue of our fallen cabbage. It should be out of the cabbage remains, I think. But now on this day, shall we remember this cabbage day? Uh. Um, well. Oh. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I think we'll get a bit too excited. Yes. Hmm. Maybe we don't have to do any of that. Just focus on uh, rebuilding the city. Hmm. That sounds better. You sound like yourself again. Oh, is this this good guy? I thought he was like a bad guy. So I know there are bad guys. And, you know. <laughs> Please, Sergeant. You have to do something. Our friends from Southern Territories have told us that their situation is starting to get very bad. Gentine Roosevelt, one of the Dragon's top three uh, generals, rules with an iron fist. She doesn't mess around. Be careful. Ah, victory! Well done, guys. You did a great job. Hmm. The people of Rocky Appendix can live in peace. You all earn some rest. And that's good news that you don't stop there. We've earned some extra money and we can upgrade the camp. Every time we reclaim a territory, we bring in more funding for our cause. Mm. The more territories we liberate, the more economic support we have. This will allow us to upgrade our camp and train more troops. But we aren't just here for the territories. Let the territories back. We also have to maintain good relations with our towns in them. Each town has a polarity. 
rating that we have to monitor. If this is rating is high, we gain additional fun to take on dragon troops coming from those towns. We'll have better traits. Plus, we'll get special uh, deals with the suppliers there. To improve relations with the towns, we can attend uh, to their needs and respond to requests. Our reputation improves as we resolve their issues. However, not helping them or failing our efforts could have the opposite effect. Also, if you see a town that has low popularity, but to no active requests, you can help them by sending personnel to serve them permanently. Towns often need medicine, maintenance, and other issues to be solved. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out. Treat the different towns well and their support us unconditionally. Only if we remain united can we defeat Dragon. You learn fast. I like seeing you for so many people I work with. Keep it up. We still have one important topic to cover, and I think you'll like it. Technology. Our enemy uses state-of-the-art equipment. This is okay. And in addition to such and Victoria's recruiting soldiers, we need to improve our infrastructure and research new technologies. That's what we were looking at a second ago. To do this, we use research points. We earn the research points where our best minds are focused on studying and learning everything that they can to improve the camp. Thanks to the tireless effort, we earn research points that we can redeem in new advances in technology tree. Sounds good? Build a research lab and hire a researcher. Once we have one, I'll tell you a bit more about the research tree. All right, we'll, we'll do the research bit and then we're going to call that a day. Right, so let's... um. Where are we going to put it? Problem with there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 I know. Ah, uh, more power sources. Okay, 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 fine. Where is it? At the top side, isn't it? You put it in a different place. Right. Now, I did hire researchers. Uh, it is that one. Yes, sir. Ooh. So... Okay. Research lab. I only hired one, did I? That's her, I think. Where did I put it? In here. So we need another person, another researcher. But we need another barracks. Um, I could put it in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. Or we could have the road going up. you yeah I know I've got I've got one researcher it's gonna force me to get two two more because I already uh, I get it yeah um brainiac yeah all right well done 
Improved guys. So let's just put we're going to start by developing a new building. Let's start by developing the explosive engineering specialization building. This will provide us with new technology specialists. Hey. Yeah, alright then. All right, all right. So are you actually going there to the research? Yes, sir. Oh no. You want a private house, do you? I was not gonna do that. You better be pretty good if you're going to have the private house. Huh? All right, so it's not no, no, it's not that one. It's that one. And we have the points for it, so we can buy it. Yep. So I'm assuming we, we have to buy, build this thing. Explosive engineer, is that the new one? I'm not sure. The one we just bought. Yeah, it's the one we just bought. I suppose we could put it there. I'm a bit more worried. How about we put it there, then we can have another road going down. Or we could put it there, or we could put it there, back to back. So we do have a mission which we could do, but I think we're over an hour into this now, so we're, we're going to call that a day for this one. Um, I think this is a great little game. Um, I'm fairly, fairly sure the issue with the resolution is going to be resolved. Maybe something even at my end, but I did try multiple methods trying to get it to go. But other than that, and the uh, the text is a little bit tiny on the actual uh, Steam Deck uh, screen itself. Brilliant game. Really enjoy it. I think you'll get about four to five hours, depending. As I said earlier, if you're happy with 20 FPS, you can take it down to six, six uh, watts quite easily. And I think that will get you four to five hours. Uh, quite easily of gameplay which is you know a fair amount so yeah that's going to be it thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it if you did please press the like button if you want to see more please subscribe and press that ding it on there when you know what it does see you next time guys bye see bye <laughs>